Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is Ben with Eritabe Gardens in Georgia, Zone 8. Mm. I have a nice one for you today. Do you have fig trees or fruit trees that are growing lanky? No branches on the wood until you get to the top of that tree. That's the only place where there is life activities on your tree, on your fig trees, on your fruit trees. But meanwhile, there's supposed to be activities, there's supposed to be life from on every node on your stem, on the wood. But all those growths that are supposed to happen on your trees or on your fig trees didn't happen. So because of that, your fig tree or your fruit tree grows tall, lanky, not looking healthy, not looking good, except at the top of that tree. Then what you need to do is to notch your trees so that they can produce new branches so you can have more figs on your trees, more fruits on your trees. So that is what this video is all about. How to notch your fig trees or fruit trees to produce new growth successfully. How to nudge your fig trees or your fruit trees to grow new growth or to produce new growth successfully. So, let me show you guys what this video is all about. What is notching? Notching is a technique that you use in making a small cut on the back of your tree above a dormant board. So when you make the small cut above that dormant board, all the nutrients and hormones will make the dormant bud to grow and to grow into a new branch for your tree. So every dormant bud on your tree will grow into new branches if you notch those dormant bud. Why do you notch your tree or your fig tree? And this is the reason. Look at this tree. Look at how leggy it is. No branch, no growth from here all the way up here. And then look at where you have branches. Now look at it, that, is, that fig is ripening. This fig is ripening here, but the concentration of the production of figs is just at the top. But look at the whole length down here. Can you imagine if there are branches all over on this tree, there will be more figs that will ripe, that I and my family will enjoy. 
But because there, are, there is no growth of any branch here, this is all a waste. All a waste. So, this is the reason why you notch. So that all these uh, nodes here, with all these dormant, can you just look at this? You see, that is a node, a bud that's supposed to grow into a branch and produce figs, but it didn't. So this is why you notch, so that it will force this bud here to grow, to become a branch that will produce figs. So, you notch so that you can have, so that your tree can be productive. So your tree can produce more fruits for you. Look at the number of figs up here. Can you compare it if there are more branches on this tree? If there are more branches, then you will have a lot of figs. So this is one way to make your fig tree productive. When you notch, well, you may not notch all of the uh, dormant nodes, but some, you know, so your tree will not be crowded with branches. But if you look at, look at that one there, you see? That is a bud that's supposed to grow and refuse to grow. So this is why you notch your fig trees or any of your trees. This is why you notch them so that it will grow into a branch and produce figs of fruits for you. This is how you notch your tree. Now look at, there is nothing growing on this side of the tree. So you will pick which of the dormant uh, bud that you want and which position you want the new branch to grow to. Now, I would love to have the new branch to grow on four sides. This is one here. This one will go this side. This one here will go this side. And this one will go this side. So that they will be well spread out you don't want to do two that is going to go the same direction, different direction. And then also, now, this is a dormant board. So this is how you do it. You take your knife. Some people use a grafting knife, whatever knife that is sharp and clean. And then you put the first cut just above, you can see, above this node, not below the node, above the node. And then the top here, what I usually do, I start from the end of this cut here, put it this way, and then carve the knife to the other end of this cut. Now, Okay, and that is it. That's how you cut it. Now, let me show you this. If you look at, it is just the skin of the tree that I cut. Just the skin. You see? Now, I did not cut into the cambium layer. The reason is because, you see, Look at this sap flowing out because this sap start flowing out because this part, this skin on this part is cut. So 
nutrient also flow through the skin nutrients flow through the skin that is why this nutrient this sap you can see that is leaking out from where it is caught so i don't cut into the cambium layer that's a white uh part of the of the wood i only cut the skin of the wood not into the cambium layer and you can see so now all the nutrients that are going up this way through the skin will stop here and once the nutrient stops here it will force this board this board here to force it to grow up because there's too much concentration of nutrients too much concentration of nutrients around this board and that will force the board to grow uh, it will force this board to grow and that will give you a new branch so also now there is there is a dormant board here that i can also do there is a dormant board here so that is what i do i pick which of the board which direction the board or the new growth we face because i want one on each side like north south east west so this is how i notch my trees i don't cut into the cambium layer no it is just the skin because nutrients also go through the skin so the nutrients coming in this skin here of the wood will stop right here so let me show you other trees that i've notched already uh, i think i notched them two weeks ago so let me show them to you is one of the trees look at that you see i did not cut into the cambium layer i don't know if you can see it that is the cambium layer right there i didn't cut into it it is the skin that i cut uh, look at the growth you see you can see the skin look at that's part of the skin right there i did not cut into the cambium layer so because the nutrients concentrated here it forced this new growth now here is another one that is just that just started growing see the board this is the cambium layer i didn't cut into it just the skin that's that one there let me show you another there's another one there you see new growth that is where i notched on this side and look at this one okay you can see i notched these nodes facing or going opposite direction and here is the other one see i notched it so this one is coming this way and that one is going that way so i did not notch it in a way that by the time they start growing, they will be blocking each other's growth. No, I, I made it on opposite sides of the wood. Look at this tree here. Now, all these trees I'm showing you, I did them the same day. Now, some varieties grow faster than some varieties. Same day, look at that. Look at the growth of this one. Look at the growth of this one. Look at the growth of that one. Look at the growth of this one. You see, I made sure that they're on opposite direction. Look at that one is going there. This one is coming this way. This one here is coming this way. That one is going that way. Look at that. Now, because this tree produces breba, now I do not want to cut it so all this space here that is no growing branch 
and because I did this, see, it has forced the bottom ones. I didn't notch this one, I didn't notch that one. But because I notched this, so the nutrient concentrated here, it forced these two to grow now. So now, look at, new growth forming on this tree. You see, let me show you more. Okay, look at this one here. And look at more, you see? See where I notched it? You see? And because I notched it here, it forced this one to grow out. So this is what notching does. You can see the result of notching. Now, this tree is going to have more branches to produce figs. You see? Now, the top part of this tree is doing well, but the bottom part does not have branches. So the more branches do you have, the more figs you will have. So this is the result of notching your trees. So next year, by God's grace, this, this is yellow Lebanese. It produces two crops. So next year, by God's grace, all these ones will produce braver figs. That's why I notched it now so that they can grow. Because by next year, braver will grow on these trees, on these new branches here. So this is the result of notching because it will help your fig tree. Okay, here is another fig tree. Can you see the three notches I did there? This is one, this is two, and this is three. Can you see that they are going, they're branching out to different directions. This one, you see, look at that one there, notch it there, is growing this way. This one that are notched here is growing this way. And this one that are notched above here is growing towards my direction. Three different directions. So I purposely did it that way, said when this one is growing, it's not going to meet up with any branch at the top so that they can grow freely without uh, affecting each other while they are growing and producing figs. So this is the result of notching, a successful notching on my fig trees. Thank you for watching this video. Please like this video. And if you have not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel. And also please click on the notification bell so that every time I upload new video, you will be notified. Thank you. And I will see you again in my next video. And God bless you. Real good. Bye.